I want to share how excited I am about next year's budget and the investment we're making in you, our people. We know that we cannot fulfill our mission of educating students and preparing them for life after high school without your hard work and commitment. That's why I'm honored that we have committed a historic $41 million towards salaries and benefits throughout the district, representing the single biggest investment in people that KCS has ever made. With this budget and new salary scales, every employee will receive a market value wage. This didn't happen by chance. It wasn't easy. We made a lot of strategic decisions to make it possible. The impact will not be felt just next year. With this investment, we're putting stakes in the ground for the future. I visit classrooms every week and I see firsthand the expertise and dedication of our staff. The FY25 budget recognizes how we value your work and I'm incredibly grateful for your leadership and commitment to our students. Thank you for all you do. The approved budget will not only provide a salary increase for every member of Knox County Schools, it will ensure every employee is paid a market value wage. This is reflected in the adoption of two new salary schedules, one schedule for teachers and one schedule for all other employees. The certified teacher schedule applies to all teachers, librarians, educational interpreters, and school counselors. It includes two scales. CERT 1 is for employees who hold a bachelor's degree. CERT 2 is for employees who hold a master's degree. Employees with a degree higher than a master's degree are also on the CERT 2 scale and will receive an additional supplement. The transition to the certified teacher scale will be calculated using each employee's current step and adding one additional step on the appropriate scale. For example, if you're a teacher who holds a bachelor's degree and currently has five years of experience but will have six at the conclusion of this school year, you will go to the salary table for 200-day contract employees, find the CERT 1 scale, and follow it until you get to step 5. Then, to calculate your salary for next school year, you will then add one additional step, which puts you on step 6. Another example would be if you're a teacher who holds an educational specialist degree and currently has 14 years of experience, but will have 15 at the conclusion of this school year. You will go to the salary table for 200-day contract employees. Because you have a degree higher than a bachelor's, find the CERT 2 scale. Follow it until you get to step 14, and then add one additional step, putting you on step 15. With the additional degree that is higher than a master's, you will then add $2,500 to this salary amount. All other employees will use the general scale to calculate their pay. First, you'll need to find your pay grade on the salary pay grade document based on your job class. For example, if you're a custodian, you will find your job class on pay grade 101. You will then go to the salary table for hourly rates. If you have eight years of experience, you'll find the 101 grade and follow it until you get to step eight. If this amount is greater than your current hourly rate, you will then multiply that hourly rate times eight hours per day and then by 260 days to determine your annual salary minus any overtime. If the hourly rate is less than step eight, then you will find the next higher hourly rate on the 101. Repeat the process stated above to determine your annual salary minus overtime. Another example, if you're an instructional coach, you will find your job class on pay grade 123. You will then go to the salary table for a 205-day contract. If you have six years of experience as an instructional coach specifically, you will find the 123 grade band and follow it until you get to step six of the 205-day contract scale. If your salary projected based on grade 123 step six is less than your current salary, then you will find the step that corresponds to the next higher salary on the grade. If you are a middle school assistant principal, you will find your job class on pay grade 126. You will then go to the salary table for a 221-day contract. If you have four years of experience as an assistant principal, specifically, you will find the 126 grade band and follow it until you get to step four of the 221-day contract scale. If your salary projected based on grade 126 step four is less than your current salary, then you will find the step that corresponds to the next higher salary on the grade. Communication of individual salaries will be provided between May 23rd and June 7th. If you have questions, please email salary at or visit the HR page on the district website to view an FAQ.